they do it for our knowledge. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 myths that have been busted on Mythbusters. Unfortunately, the sand is so fine, it's clogging up those ports, and the water's just going up and over it. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we're looking at some of the most unforgettable and most outlandish myths that were busted on the hit television show Mythbusters. Either Adam and Jamie or the build team needs to have conclusively busted a given myth, which means that a plausible outcome will not be included. I think we've done all that we can here. I think this myth is definitively and finally busted. Yeah, it was fun, though. Number 10. Humans use only 10% of their brains. So we're here at UCSF to get an fMRI, a functional magnetic resonance image. This myth has been circulating since at least the 1930s. So it goes that we humans only use 10% of our given brain capacity, and as a result, we could tap into unknown or possibly superhuman capabilities if we harnessed the other 90%. However, the build team finally put this myth to rest. He's lighting up like a Christmas tree there. Yeah. What's going on? While taking a magnetoencephalogram study, Tori used 35% of his brain's volume and 30% while telling a story during an MRI scan. He also activated different lobes of his brain while telling the story, conclusively proving that our brains are always working at full capacity and making superpowers quite unlikely. But when you're just sitting there doing nothing, you're already looking like you're using more than 10%. Number nine, there is such a thing as a brown note. Oh my God. This is probably one of the goofiest myths that they've tested on the show, but also one of the funniest. Adam was the guinea pig for this one, as he tested whether the elusive brown note, an alleged infrasonic frequency that makes humans empty their bowels, was real. We say alleged because, as Adam bravely proved, it is not real. Aside from feeling some minor discomfort due to the low frequencies, Adam never needed to use his ridiculous looking adult diaper. So, sorry supervillains in waiting, but no, there is no sound that will make someone crap their pants. The myth as we know it, yes, is busted. Number eight, you can't polish a turd. I mean, it's ridiculous, I just don't believe it. As the old saying goes, you can't polish a turd. However, for our amusement, our curiosity, and our sense of wonder, the Mythbusters found out that this is actually not true. As it turns out, you can polish a turd, and it is glorious to behold. In the episode, Adam goes to a third-party expert who shows him a technique used to polish dirt. Using the exact same technique, Adam and Jamie both successfully polished a turd, and all without the help of cheats like polishers. Sure beats rock tumbling. It's pretty good. The proof is in the polish. Wow. Number seven, Breaking Bad contains good science. That's right, folks. We are smack at the beginning of a Mythbusters Breaking Bad special. Breaking Bad is undoubtedly brilliant and highlights just how badass chemistry can be. Unfortunately, it seems as if the producers took some liberties with the facts in the name of entertainment. In the Breaking Bad special, the Mythbusters tested two myths whether hydrofluoric acid could eat through a bathtub, and whether a piece of mercury fulminate will explode when thrown to the ground. Unfortunately, both were busted, bitch. It looks about like what fell through the floor in Breaking Bad. Yeah, except that the acid's not doing anything to the bathtub. Yeah, not a thing. The acid didn't eat through the bathtub, and even when thrown at superhuman speed, the mercury fulminate did not explode. If you can't trust a deranged meth chef, who can you trust? And with the same amount as in the show, it didn't blow out any windows. It didn't blow out anything. Number six, shockwaves cancel each other out. It's time to cue the explosions with a return to what is bombproof. This is one weird myth. Apparently, a human can survive two simultaneous explosions by standing directly in the middle of the two because the resulting shockwaves cancel each other out. We don't know why you'd be between two identical explosions or how you'd determine the exact middle spot. But regardless, this is all bunk, bollocks, hokum, and hogwash anyway. Whoa! In fact, the literal opposite happens, as Adam and Jamie found that the shockwaves accumulated and resulted in a stronger blast. I felt that one. So, not only is this myth busted, but also it proved that the exact opposite is true. 
Yes, yeah, science. Yeah. It's totally the opposite of canceling each other out. It doubled the power. Number five, the color red causes a bull to charge. So is this a dangerous job? Oh yeah, it can be a very dangerous job. Bulls hate the color red. We all know this. It's their raison d'etre, and it's just basic science. Except it turns out that this isn't even remotely true. In the initial tests, a bull charged three different colored flags with equal intensity. Tori then went into the ring dressed in red while cowboys were able to distract the bull, which proved that the animals are drawn to movement rather than any particular color. More movement, more movement. This test showed that matadors could use any color they wanted, though don't expect them to start waving teal or fuchsia anytime soon. Good thing for me, red flag to a bull is busted. Busted. And I'm glad you're not. Number four, you can remove a slab of concrete from a cement truck with dynamite. Apparently you've got some cement mixers that we can uh, have our way with. If the Mythbusters are good at one thing, it's blowing stuff up. This talent was on full display here when they tested the myth that using a stick of dynamite can clear out a slab of concrete stuck inside a cement truck. To test this claim, the Mythbusters enlisted the help of FBI explosives experts who rigged the truck with 850 pounds of explosives. The resulting explosion did more than clear out the cement. It completely obliterated the truck. Three, two, one. <laughs> right. Jamie even admitted that, quote, this has got nothing to do with the myth. It's just a big boom. Sometimes you just need to have some fun. This has got nothing to do with the myth. <laughs> this is just a big boom. Number three, cell phone use can blow up gas stations. Have you heard of this myth regarding uh, exploding a gas station by using a cell phone? It's a tale as old as cell phones. If you use one while pumping your gas, you're liable to blow up the entire gas station. It makes for scary and ominous headlines, and it definitely made us think twice about whipping out our phones at the pumps. Fortunately, for everyone's sake, it is not true. Pure and simple, we don't have any accidents involving a cell phone at a service station. It just doesn't happen. Adam and Jamie discovered that a cell phone poses absolutely zero risk of igniting gasoline vapors, even when the ratio of gas to air was perfectly optimized for ignition. But hey, Adam lost an eyebrow in the ordeal, so that was kind of fun to watch. However, we're glad he wasn't seriously hurt. All in the name of science. <laughs> Number two, people sink in quicksand. <laughs> there you go. That's a lot of suction. You can thank the movies and adventure novels for this one. We all know how this works. Fall into quicksand and you'll slowly be consumed by the malevolent force before suffocating to death underneath the surface. Luckily, this is entirely made up for entertainment purposes. As it turns out, quicksand is extremely dense and therefore humans simply bob on the surface. Now we turn the pump off and <laughs> I'll tell you, I, I'm not going to be able to get back out of here until we turn the pump back on. While some people have been found dead in quicksand, the Mythbusters explain that this was likely due to the elements rather than the sand itself. Sinking into quicksand, as seen in the movies, simply does not happen. Surprised you even have to ask. It's absolutely busted. No such thing. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. 21 for Cracker, two seconds. 322 for Meat, six seconds. Time didn't seem to be a factor because uh, all the samples seemed to show about the same amount of contamination no matter how long they sat on the floor. Hey! You see in Hollywood movies, people getting shot and they get thrown back. I mean, this pig went back maybe two inches. There we go. Not bad at all, 40, 40 seconds. seconds. I think that judging by what I'm seeing that that's probably the threshold. Number one. A penny dropped from a skyscraper can kill you. I think it's just one of those myths that belongs to the Empire State Building. If we've learned anything from Saturday morning cartoons, it's this. If you drop a penny from the top of a skyscraper, it becomes a deadly missile from the sky. Luckily for us all, the Mythbusters quickly deduced that this was impossible, as even at terminal velocity, a dropped penny lacks the speed or strength required to penetrate a human skull. Lights. Perfect hit. The gang even fired a penny at supersonic speed, and it failed to puncture their ballistic head and skull. So, if a supersonic penny can't kill a human, then one falling from a building has no chance. I think we busted the heck out of this one. Net busted? Yeah. 